today we are doing a desktop video analysis, property comparison, and an on-site video tour from my man Arnold. Arnold, this is your video. Let's dive in. Price. I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Arnold, my man, uh, this is an MLS search and analysis. Uh, on top of that, we're going to be doing the MLS search. You know, you found two properties on the MLS, uh, and then I'm going to analyze them. I'm going to compare and contrast. On top of that, you actually opted to upgrade your package, and you got the on-site video tour of both properties. So I sent my team out. They got into both of these properties and uh, you know, let's let's get into this whole thing. A little bit about you first, brother, so I could know. Uh, I like to get information about you, so I know how to best cater uh, the information that I'm giving you here today to you to your investment strategy. Uh, so you are an investor. You used to live in Akron, which for anybody else watching this, Akron is pretty darn close to Cleveland. Uh, like 20, 30 minutes out, about 30 minutes out, um, south of uh, Cleveland there. That's where LeBron is actually from. He's not actually from Cleveland. He's from Akron. And uh, that's where you're from, Arnold. But currently, right now, you live in Salt Lake City. Uh, the Salt Lake City, Utah market doesn't have much cash flow. So you're kind of coming back to your hometown here uh, in search of some cash flow. You're looking for multifamilies. Good, man. I think multifamilies are a great place to start. Those two to four units, you still get the residential financing, uh, but you get multiple income checks. So that's what I like to see. You're hoping to get between 300 and 500 a month with a net annual cash on cash return of 9% or better. Out in Salt Lake City, it looks like you can't even get 3% in that market with where the prices are at. Um, and then another question you had asked me, you wanted to know why the property taxes on these two properties were high as fuck. Uh, let's just get into that real quick. Why are the taxes on both of the properties you've chosen high as fuck? The first property, 3425 Altamont, that's in Cleveland Heights. Um, that is $130,000, and the property taxes on that are they're pretty high, bro. $4,241.16, and then the other one was $8280 Crudel, and that's in Garfield Heights. Those taxes, $4,463 4, a year. Those are pretty high taxes. Um, Northeast Ohio, right? It, the taxes, like, <clears throat> you know, there, there's definitely other areas of the country where property taxes are much lower in comparison to the prices. By the way, both these properties, one's listed at 130000 the other at one twenty nine. So the taxes are pretty high. Uh, but the two properties you chose, while I do think both of them are very nice properties, you chose uh, two of the higher tax rate cities we have here in Cleveland. Um, Cleveland Heights, super high taxes. Garfield Heights, super high taxes. Another one that comes to mind is Lakewood. Um, so if you're investing in the Cleveland market, if you're in Cleveland Heights, Garfield Heights, or Lakewood, you're gonna see pretty much the highest property taxes. Another super high one is gonna be Shaker Heights. Uh, if you actually invest in the city of Cleveland itself, okay, your taxes are gonna be much, much lower. Um, you just happen to pick areas with incredibly high taxes. Now, <clears throat> later in the video, I'll get into the quality uh, of the two properties, and I'll compare and contrast uh, with that of like other duplexes in Cleveland, because um, there's going to be a quality drop off on at least one of these. Uh, so, you know, just paying higher taxes might not necessarily be something that should eliminate one of the investments. The first one I want to get into, uh, you guys, Tom, can they see the screen and everything? Looks great. Okay, cool. So. 
Here is the first one you picked out. You you searched these on the MLS yourself and you liked these properties. 3425 Altamont Ave, Cleveland Heights, 44118. This is listed by a realtor from a company called Howard Hanna, pretty big residential brokerage out here in Cleveland. Been on the market 19 days. List price $130,000. Now, I sent my team into the property. Uh, they did a tour, so I'm going to watch that with you guys here. Here's the property. We got the Howard Hanna sign right there. Big old Cleveland Heights triplex. This bad boy is 100% occupied. As we see here from the drone footage, that roof uh, does not look to be you know the newest roof we don't have any uh, evidence of leaking but uh, you know you see some discolored shingles on there uh, like up top here so that shows that they made like roof repairs so um, roofs are gonna last you roughly 30 years in the Cleveland market so uh, <clears throat> this one if I had to guesstimate I would say you're definitely in your last 10 years um, so you're going to want to budget for that. And I've accounted for stuff like that in the capital expenditures, which we'll get to later. But I just want to go over the footage with you here. Uh, so right here, we got my video guy. He's cruising up into that third floor unit. Now, as you see, this is just like a small little unit. And it's it's messy, dude, right? Like a lot of investors, you know, they get they get scared away by this kind of stuff, like messiness, like whatever, man. I mean... This unit, it's an attic unit. It's being rented for 380. You know, you're not gonna get like super high class, you know, tenants that are like super tidy up in these like little tiny apartments. Um, so this is pretty par for the course. Uh, now over here, we're looking at footage from one of the other units. Now, as you'll see, man, the kitchen, it's like super dated. Everything else in this apartment is, is pretty darn dated. Uh, you know, we just got some like crummy carpet. The walls are pretty old. Uh, like just raggedy, you know, it's a long-term tenant. Nothing is like super nice in this apartment, which in my opinion is actually a good thing because this is a three bed, one bath apartment and we are still bringing in 880 bucks a month out of this unit. So that's good. Um, that just shows that the neighborhood itself is really, really nice. The demand is very, very high. And uh, you know, a unit that doesn't really look all that great is commanding a ton of rent. Like 880 bucks is a huge amount of rent uh, for a duplex unit. So we should honestly, like after the next turnover, if you were to buy this dude, because you're gonna have to do uh, a rent ready renovation. So you'll go in, you'll repaint everything gray, replace that carpet, update that dated ass kitchen. You do all that, dude, you're gonna be able to get your rent up to a thousand bucks a month. So this investment, which we're gonna go over the numbers here in a little bit, uh, but this investment has actually got some serious upside. Uh, quickly here, we are in the basement. I just want to show you this. We got the furnaces. This one's a little older. This is probably like 15, maybe 20 years old. This one looks a lot newer. That one is probably only like five years old. This hot water tank, older. This one I'd guesstimate like five years. I'd say this one's probably around 10. And then uh, the area over here this is where tenants they do their laundry and then you see your electric panels these are good this is what you want to see these are all updated panels okay this is the third floor these are the other two floors this is what you want to see just so you know that's that's the end of the tour uh, we got into the two units right so we got into the one unit at 880 we got into the attic at 380 um, we were unable the listing agent was unable to provide us access to that other unit. Um, that other unit is also rented for 880. Uh, so on the screen now, I got the chart up for you. So you see the whole thing, right? 3425 Altamont, you know, one through three, right? One and two, they're three bed, one bass, rented for 880. Uh, that third floor is rented at 380. So you're bringing in 2140 a month, 25,680 a year. And remember, these are like three kind of dated crummy looking units uh, so there's gonna be some serious upside right like you would never want to move any of these tenants out because this is great rent right now the rent's great but eventually when you have a natural turnover you're gonna have to renovate it 
So you want to renovate it very nice, update those kitchens, update those baths, make everything look fresh. And I think out of the one and two units, you're bringing in a thousand bucks a month and you could probably take that third unit and you could honestly get that sucker probably up to 500 if you make it really nice. So you could be bringing in a total of 2,500 a month out of this bad boy. And that is like totally dependent on this neighborhood. This is just like a nice high end rental area, high demand there. So that's good. But let's just focus on the numbers that you have available to you right now, how the property is currently performing right now. So 2140 a month, 25,680 a year. Now, you're not going to bring in that much money every single year, right? You're not going to make 25,680 a year. You're going to have some serious costs uh, when you run a rental property. So looking at the numbers here, repairs, vacancy, and capital expenditures. Remember that roof, right? The discolored shingles on that roof there. You got to account for that kind of stuff, right? Like you don't have to do anything up front to this property or this roof right now. It's 100% occupied. It's, it's making money. So we don't have like any upfront repairs, but we have to account for that stuff. So like repairs, I, I take the rents here and I estimated 5%. Remember, these are estimates, man. I cannot tell you exactly how much repairs it's going to be every single month. That would be impossible. There's like unlimited amounts of variables in all of these things. Um, but you know, running a $50 million portfolio, running thousands and thousands of properties, thousands and thousands of tenants throughout the years. Properties like this overall, over the long haul, the estimates I've broken down for you uh, that we're getting into right here, this is like what you should see on average with all of your properties over like a long term. So I estimated 5% for repairs. And that's just like, you know, it's not going to be every month $107. It's going to be like nothing happens. And then like, you know, you got to replace a furnace or something breaks, this or that, right? Just know that you're ha you're having $107 of issues, like a furnace uh, service call might cost you like 200 bucks, a thermocoupler goes bad or something like that, and then they got to get in there, clean it, do stuff like that, right? So on average, 107 a month or 1284 a year. Vacancy and non-pay. Tenants don't always pay rent, dude. It, they don't always pay rent. That's just part of the game. Uh, this property is located in a nice B-class area. I really like this area. Um, and again, you could tell the area is so nice because we're commanding such high rents for units. That, let's be real, dude. Based on the video tour, uh, those units, they didn't look hot. And I'm assuming that's why the, the listing agent, the Howard Hanna agent, they only just put the front picture up, right? Like this was their listing. Um, you know, that's it, just the front picture. They didn't really show you anything on the inside. Uh, that third unit that we didn't get into, I, I don't see why we wouldn't assume it's in the similar condition as the other two, right? Just like old school beat up units. And by the way, it's it might seem like a red flag that the listing agent couldn't get us into that third unit. In my opinion, it's not. It's not a cause for concern. Um, I'm analyzing this deal assuming that it's in the same condition as the other two units, which we're not like high end by any means, but we're commanding a high rent. Everything else is just kind of old, but like functional. I assume that's what it is. Um, the reason you're coming to me, the reason you're purchasing this analysis is probably because, you know, this particular realtor, this listing, right, it doesn't give you a lot to go off of. Um, most realtors, they, they, they function uh, in the residential space. They sell homes to people who are going to live there with their families, right? It's not me. It's not what I do. Like, you know, Arnold, bro, if you move back to the Cleveland area one day from Salt Lake and you're like, hey man, me and my wife, we need to buy a new house. You want to cruise around the suburbs with us? I would be like, fuck no, bro, because that's not what I do. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances would I drive you and your wife around. That would be fucking horrible. That's not the game I'm in, man. I am in rental real estate, investment real estate, turnkey. I love the numbers. I love the money. I love the cash flow. Fucking hate looking at drapes and blinds and bullshit like that. However, this Howard Hanna realtor, she probably loves that stuff, dude. That's probably up her alley, which is why this particular listing only had the one photo. We don't have a lot of information that you need, these numbers that I'm breaking out right now. Uh, we weren't able to get into that second unit because tenants, dude, they're not always super easy to work with, right? Uh, they're tough. That's why most people that sell their rental properties, they sell them through me because I'm the only guy in the Cleveland market that I know of that has this 
full top to bottom turnkey business where we sell everything on a nationwide scale on this YouTube channel uh, without having to get buyers and sellers, you know, going in and out of these properties because it's just a fucking nightmare, man. Uh, so that's my whole thing. That that's why you came to me, uh, and that's that's why, you know, there is probably only one photo, and that's also why we didn't get in that second unit, and that's why I don't think that's a red flag. Back to the numbers, though, putting the chart back on the screen for you, brother. So repairs, 107. Vacancy and non-pay, 107, dude. Evictions happen. I think they're going to happen a lot less frequently at this property, Altamont, because, again, nice neighborhood. Cap X, that's where I talked about, like, that roof, dude. We are factoring in 5% every month, 107. But you're by no means spending 107 every month on CapEx items. I'm talking like you have to factor in the big ticket items over the long haul. That roof is probably a seven, maybe $8,000 roof because it's a big duplex, right? You probably, based on what I saw in the drone footage, I think you probably have like 10 years or less left. So you have to factor that in. You're making money every month in this property, but you got to stow some of that away to cover things like your roof when you do have to come in and just drop $8,000 on that roof. Other things like total replacement of your furnaces. One of those furnaces is like 20 years old. The other one looked pretty damn new, uh, but you got to factor those in. Furnaces are going to run you about three grand. Um, so just like main large mechanical systems in the building, factoring that stuff in. So factor another 1284 in for that. Taxes, we talked about this earlier. They are high. You know, 42, 41, 16 a year. It breaks you down to 353, 43 a month. Your insurance, you should be spending roughly 80 bucks a month. We can cover you on the insurance, man. I got the Hogue Insurance Agency uh, in the show notes below. Contact info, you can contact my associate, Kevin. He'll be able to take care of you. Uh, 960 bucks a year is pretty much what you're going to be expecting to pay for this. Water sewer. You have to pay water sewer here in Cleveland. Uh, no other way about it. If you go to holtonwise.com, Right here, guys, HoltonWise.com. Here is my FAC. want you guys to check this out, to go to my property management FAC. And I go through everything, dude, from the buying process to the property management process. And somewhere down there at the end here, I got a big whole thing on why you as landlords need to pay water sewer. It's a long-ass story. I don't want to take up a bunch of Arnold's video here talking about it. Uh, so just read it, dude. It's it's pretty much non-negotiable, so you're going to have to pay it. I average that out to probably 200 bucks a month. I think the two bigger units, I think you're going to spend roughly uh, 170 I'm sorry, you're going to spend roughly 75 a month on those. And the other unit, just a small unit, it looks to me like one single person's living there. So I factored that in at only 50 uh, so 2400 Water sewer, guys, so you know, man, that's like the hardest thing. You can't like accurately like narrow that down it's going to vary so much like every single tenant every family that moves in is, is going to use a differing amount of water they might use a differing amount of water uh, at different times of the year so you guys if you're out there investing in real estate and uh like you know you see one of these videos and i'm like yeah about 200 bucks a month and you know your property might run 180 a month 170 a month 140 a month or your property might be like 220 a month 240 a month you can't just be like, ah, James said it was going to be 200 a month, but it's 240 a month. My numbers are screwed. What the hell? Dude, if you're a person like that, that's real estate's not for you, bro. Because, like, this is a people business. Like, it's going to happen, man. We, there's no way we, I can tell you exactly how much showers these particular tenants are going to be taking, right? So we put people on one-year leases. If you do have people that are abusing the water, you might have to eat a little bit of a problem for the whole year if they're abusing the water sewer but you know then we can boot them for that at the end because here in the cleveland market we do not need uh there's not like a reason like we don't have to have specific lease violations to non-renew people uh we can non-renew anybody so if somebody is using too much water uh you know if they were using like on average like 400 a month uh you know we could boot all these tenants right uh so that's something to factor in uh last two things here lawn care uh i factored that uh i averaged that out for you 528 a year we got to cut the grass probably about 16 times a year here in cleveland it varies right um we don't cut it obviously january february stuff like that because there's snow it's freezing but you know spring and summer and fall we do cut it on average 16 times a year so it's gonna average out 44 a month and then of course you got to pay us for the services so your pm 2568 a year 214 a month so on that $25,680 you are bringing in, you're going to be spending $14,549 to 
16 on average. Again, I don't know if it's going to be that exact number every year. It probably won't, but that is an average for you. So anticipating the gross rents over 25K and the gross cost to run this, you should be spending around 14.5K every single year you own this. You're never going to you know, take home 25K. Probably never going to happen, right? But you should take home roughly 11,130.84 a year or on average 927.57 a month. So you buy this property, you should be pulling into your pocket here 927.57 a month or 11,130.84 a year. Again, up years yes, down years yes. There is going to be a little bit of sway, but not too much sway because I think you have a very low risk investment here cuz uh again, B classic neighborhood, super high rents. Rents are not being driven up in this property based on how nice those units are because they don't look nice at all, actually. Uh, so that's all neighborhood, which is good. That is good for you, um, which is I like that. So whether or not this deal is James Wise approved, whether or not it meets your specific criteria, what you wanted was 300 to 500 a month in um, you know cash flow, and you wanted a net annual cash flow of 9% or better. I assume you're going to be getting a loan on this property because if you don't, that'd be crazy. That's, you know, the best best reason to buy rental real estate, especially this residential real estate, uh, is to utilize other people's money, bro. You cannot get a badass loan like this to invest in the stock market. Can't get a badass loan to buy a bar. Can't get a badass loan like this to fucking, I don't know, Tommy, what other businesses can you not get a badass loan to do? See, Tommy can't even fucking can't think. think he can't even think of one. I don't know. Moral of the story, it's hard as shit to get financing for businesses. That's why rental real estate's awesome. So I would never, ever, ever recommend you buy this cash, man. This is an awesome deal to finance. So, uh, the property, 130000 If you finance this, you're only going to need to put down 25%. So 32500 It's going to leave you with a mortgage of $97,500, okay? Now, this part is cool. If you go to the Tools and Resources tab of HoltonWise.com, boom, I got a little handy-dandy mortgage calculator for you guys here, and you could punch in these numbers. So, you could take your mortgage amount, your $97,500, and that's going to give you a monthly mortgage of four ninety four zero two. dollars or a total mortgage payment of $5,928.24 a year. That's what you're gonna be paying back to the bank every single year. So every year, you're bringing in 11130 on average, right? That's what you're making you know, if you buy it cash, which puts you at a cap rate of 8.6. But if you decide to stretch your funds, which I think you absolutely should, instead of spending $130,000, you only put down $32,500 of your money, and you have the bank put up the other ninety-seven and a half dollars for you. Have those tenants pay it off. Uh, after you pay back the bank, you're going to be putting in your pocket $433.55 every month or $52,0260 every year. So your goal was a cash on cash of 9% or better. That comes out to a cash on cash of 16%, and your goal was between 300 and 500 a month in cash flow. You are should be putting 433.55 a month in your pocket, and that's after after you're paying off your debt service, dude. So those tenants are paying down that $97,500 loan for you. So that is on the high end of what you're looking for. You crushed your cash on cash numbers, and you are crushing what you were hoping to put in your pocket. Last thing, and this is the thing that people forget though. They buy these, they want to buy these properties and they're like, okay, it hit all my metrics, I should buy it. Not so fast. We are not 100% James Wise approved on this deal yet. We need to check into a few other things. First, we got to check the disclosures here, okay? This is the lead based paint disclosure as provided by the listing agent. We have no record or knowledge of lead-based paint. That's good. This is an old home built before 1972, so these are required in Ohio on every property. Uh, we don't have any known lead hazards, so that's good for you. No issue there. 
Here is our property disclosure, five page document required on all properties purchased in Ohio. Public water, public sewer, you're pretty much never gonna deal with private water sewer uh, when you're buying properties off of my channel. We have those like in the country, um, in like rural areas, but we, you know, we do urban real estate here, right? Everything's in cities. Uh, so that's like a non-issue. Um, you know, I cruised through this a little bit earlier, so I'm just kind of going to go uh, fast here for you. Really no, no issues, right? No boundary agreements, no boundary disputes. I didn't see any red flags on this residential disclosure. Uh, so that's good. So lead-based paint, no issues. Residential disclosure, that checks out. Last thing, and this is the most important thing, and this is the thing that people forget about. They want to, um, you know, consider these income properties, which they are. Again, I'm not the dude who does drapes. Fuck that. I do money. Like, we're selling you money. This is an investment vehicle. This is a business. But you have to understand, uh, like, that loan, right? That loan is not going to be based on the income that this asset can provide to you because this is a one to four unit property. This is a three unit property. So it falls under the residential financing terms, which is why it's such a great investment for new investors like you getting your portfolio started. Because if you buy the commercial stuff, that's five units or more, or maybe it's like a apartment on top, retail on the bottom, that is only gonna be financed through a commercial loan and those terms suck compared to the terms you get here. You're getting fixed interest, low interest, probably around like five, four and a half percent, somewhere in there. 30 year term, you know, the rate's not going up and down. That's the best financing in town. You can get 10 of those in your personal name. So I recommend every investor out there starting their investment career, you take down one mortgage for your personal home, take care of home base first, but then you max out the other nine. Get yourself as many two to four units as you can. That is the best financing in the game. As we learned from my conversation with my man Tommy earlier, you know, you can't get financing like that on any other business, dude. Bars, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I can't even think of other businesses, but this is the best financing. But to get this really good financing, again, since it's residential, it's comp based, right? It's not, they're not really looking at the income. So you have to look at what comparable properties are selling for. So I pulled the comps up for you in Cleveland Heights. Remember, our property, they're asking 130000 We have four properties, four multifamily properties that sold in a quarter mile radius of our property here. We got this one here sold at 70000 So that's pretty low. This one sold at 80000 pretty low. But then we have another one here, 115000 And all three of those, those are duplexes. And this last one here, sold at $187,000, right? So this is like probably pretty nice. Um, fortunately for us, this agent did not include any photos uh, in their particular listing. So the one for 187, we don't have any photos other than this, this big one right here, right? But we're gonna assume that this bad boy's super nice. It's bringing in, you know, gross rents a 30, thousand dollars a year which is pretty darn close to what you're bringing in here at twenty five thousand six eighty and that was listed and sold for one hundred eighty seven thousand the one for 115 same deal uh we do not have any other photos but a three bed one bath they were renting both of those for 700 and then going on to these two low end ones here this one eighty thousand dollars I would assume this one was probably, A, the rents were super low, 550, 625, and probably sold with a huge POS the buyer need to assume. This last one here, 39 or 3392 DeSoto, this one sold at 70,000. Uh, I was on the market for a long time, 130 days on the market. Uh, this one appears to be just like a beat down property, so they probably, if I had to guess, had the buyer assume the POS, you got like a super dated kitchen uh looking pretty ragged here so you're probably cosmetically looking at maybe like fifteen thousand a unit on this so that brings you up to about a hundred thousand then i don't know how much the pos would be uh so that leads me to the last thing i want to tell you before i tell you whether or not you should move forward on this deal or not and that is the point of sale now we contacted the listing agent uh she did not um, have it ordered yet it is not yet ordered if you pick it up at a price of 130,000 which I think you should I think this deal 
is 100% James Wines approved based on everything we've seen, based on the comps, based on the rentability, based on the upside. If we write the offer contingent, A, on your own personal inspection, B, on your financing, and then C, the, the seller orders and completes the point of sale. I want this to come to you point of sale violation free. Now, if the seller orders this POS and it turns out the repairs are more than the seller can handle, um, because we don't know if this seller is a professional landlord, right? Uh, the realtor that this seller has chosen appears to be a residential realtor, so I don't, I don't know their level of expertise here. So maybe they get that POS and they're like, oh man, I, I don't know if we could do this work or this work. You know, Holton Wines could come in and we could do the point of sale work for you after it closes. Uh, Cleveland Heights is an escrow city. What they're going to want to do, say like the work is estimated at like $20,000, you'd have to put $20,000 cash into escrow. Then you'd have to pay us to do the $20,000 worth of work. Then after it's done, uh, you'd get your $20,000 back. That's how the city makes sure that the buyer, when they assume the point of sale violations, is actually going to do them. Uh, they hold your money hostage uh, until you get it done. Or they force the seller to do them before they close. So at $130,000, you want to get it POS free. You don't want to have any violations. If after they order it, turns out that the violations are more than they can handle, you want to try to negotiate that in there. Like if it is $20,000, you want to get a $20,000 or maybe like a $25,000 uh, discount off of this property. That is how I would approve this. I would say it's 100% James Wise approved if you take it POS clear at 130 or if you are credited for what they want you to assume. Now, let's go to a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Spartan Invest. Those are those guys down in Birmingham, Alabama, Cleveland. Awesome market, but I know a lot of you guys out there are watching this and you're looking into other markets. So if you're interested in anything in Birmingham, take a word from my guys, Spartan Invest down there in Birmingham. Expanding your real estate holdings to multiple markets is a great way to reduce your risk. Birmingham, Alabama features an unemployment rate that is well below the national average. In fact, Birmingham's growing tech scene has been highlighted by both Fords and Barons. That, coupled with Birmingham's low price to rent ratio, is why so many investors from around the U.S. have been flocking to the area to put their money to work. Spartan Invest has helped hundreds of investors successfully buy cash flowing real estate in Birmingham. With an average tenant's day of 39 months, it's easy to see why Spartan Invest maintains an annual occupancy rate above 95%. To learn more about the turnkey opportunities in Birmingham, Alabama, contact Spartan Invest today at 205-202-4118 or visit them online at SpartanInvest.com. Arnold, my man, welcome back. Like I said, last one, that was a cool property. I liked it. If you get it, POS clear, you could pay up to 130 and it'd be a gnarly deal for you. If they want you to assume those violations, I think you should get a discount. What about the second one you looked at? 8280 Crudel. This is in Garfield Heights. Now, first thing I want to talk about. There's a little quality drop off here. Um, Garfield Heights is similar to Cleveland, right? <clears throat> like I said, Cleveland Heights, Lakewood, Garfield Heights. The taxes in these three municipalities are all much higher than Cleveland itself. Where you were in your Cleveland Heights, your Altamont property, that was like a B class. I would consider Cleveland, like the areas I like in Cleveland, 44111, the southern half of 44109, that is C class. Um, so it's probably worth it for Altamont because you're getting higher rents and you're getting better quality tenants and the neighborhood is driving with super high rents because that the units weren't really that nice in that property. Uh, this one, a little different. Like the footage here, let's, let's take a look at the drone footage. Um, this is a beautiful duplex. Like, if we're talking just the building itself, this duplex is definitely a nicer uh, building. It's much newer. It's in better condition. It's just like a, you know, it's very, very well done uh, compared to the Ultima property. But there's a, a drop off in neighborhood quality here. Garfield is like kind of like 
it's a little higher than Cleveland quality, I would say, but it's pretty close to Cleveland. So you are paying increased taxes, but you're going to get essentially the same kind of a tenant base. So keep that in mind. A little bit higher than Cleveland, right? Like, you know, I label it, you know, high C, low B, really. Like some areas of Garfield are a little nicer than others. They're all very similar, but the, there's still like a considerable drop off from that Cleveland Heights property. So building wise, much nicer building, um, but uh, as far as amount of rents, they're going to be lower and the tenant quality is going to be a little bit lower. Let's go in and watch the rest of the footage, though, that my team got for you. So just more drone footage here, as you can see. All right, looking good. That roof, I would say that roof has probably got 15, 20 years of life left into it. That is a nice, nice looking roof. Very well landscaped, like altogether, like the property itself is very impressive. I could see why you picked this one out because it is probably one of the more impressive duplexes that I've seen. Uh, now we're gonna cruise inside of it. We are getting uh, 1575 in rent at this property, just so you know. Uh, this unit right here, this one is a three bed, one bath, and it's rented for 800 a month. Looks like, uh, you know, very nice tenant here. You know, I don't think you'll have any issues with this tenant. They do keep their home in pretty nice condition. It's definitely a lot nicer in here than that third floor at Altamont. You know, everything looks pretty nice. When these folks move out, you'll of course need to do a unit turn, but everything that we're looking at in this unit is, is pretty good right you know pretty cleanly i don't think these folks are going anywhere this doesn't look like a nomadic tenant uh, or a tenant who's planning on moving out anytime soon like the fixtures in this bathroom too like that's a nice modern looking vanity i like that vanity uh cruising into the basement here let's take a look at these mechanicals that furnace right there that's a that's a pretty new furnace i would say that's probably 10 years or less i, I don't think that's old so you got at least 20 years left on that bad boy Hot water tank, that's probably about five years old if I had to guess. Uh, so you probably have about 10 years of life left. Now those are fuses, right? So you're gonna need to do some upgrades eventually on that. You're probably gonna want a pencil in like a thousand bucks. Over here, the other furnace looking good again. Um, probably five on the water tank, maybe 10 on the furnace, but I don't know if you caught it, but this, this uh, electric panel is also outdated. So you're probably, Looking at about $2,000 of electrical repairs eventually. I'm not saying you have to do it up front. Your tenants are already in there. Uh, it's not illegal to have the old fuse panels, but that is something you want to address eventually. Now, same thing with the Altamont property. We were only able to get into one of these units. Again, nothing that is like a super red flag. I know investors, you know, they're buying these properties and, you know, people get... They get nervous, like, oh, we didn't get to get inside, see everything. Guys, selling rental properties is nothing like selling homes you're going to live in, man. Uh, when we're property managers, realtors, people dealing with these tenants. You know, think about it. Like, would you want a bunch of random strangers just coming in your house? Like, they don't know me. They don't know my film guys. Uh, the tenant doesn't benefit at all from people coming in there. So they're not always... Um, going to be cooperative as far as showings and that's why you know as a policy here at Holton Wise when I sell properties and this is why I'm the number one seller of rental properties in Cleveland we don't do buyer showings on anything we go in we do our video tours and then that's it uh, the only times people come in after that are the appraisal and the private home inspection uh, that the buyers are paying for we, we don't just have a bunch of looky loos in there that would be a nightmare uh, these people are letting buyer showings in there. So these tenants are probably being driven insane by all the amount of people that are coming in and out of their units. So one tenant not letting us in is not really the end of the world. That doesn't make them a bad tenant. It just makes them a normal person uh, who's just dealing uh, with, in my opinion, an inefficient way to sell a rental property. I hate uh, I hate that method of selling rental properties, which is why I do it totally different. I do it all video and which is why you're watching along with the thousands of other people who are watching. And that's again, why I'm the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. Uh, but all that notwithstanding, this property listed 129.9 listed by a Remax realtor. The unit we saw being rented for 800 a month, the other unit 775 a month. So we're bringing in a total 1575 a month. 
that is $18,900 a year. Going through the numbers on this, because like, you know, the quality of the neighborhood's not bad. It's not as nice as Cleveland Heights, but it is a little higher than Cleveland. Uh, so you're paying extra taxes, but you are getting a little bit better quality, but not much. So honestly, just so you know, even though the quality is slightly higher in Garfield, I would say I probably prefer Cleveland duplexes uh, to Garfield duplexes. If I have two identical duplexes, I would, I would probably maybe go the Cleveland one usually just because the taxes are lower, especially when you're dealing with a high price point of this, 129.9. But we'll get into that later. Before I even break down the price point, I just want to go through the numbers with you. Again, I did these numbers uh, as an estimate based on my knowledge of the, of the rental industry running thousands and thousands of tenants and such. Uh, every number I'm about to give you, you know, I cannot guarantee that, man. I don't, I can't tell the future. There is unlimited variables at play. Uh, but I did, same thing as the other property. I, I did a 5% on our repairs, our vacancy, and our capital expenditures. So that's 79 bucks a month. You should average, you should average out. You should think that you're going to eventually have to spend that. You know, if we're comparing apples to apples here, I think our vacancy at this property uh, over your course of ownership, you'll probably have more vacancies and more non-payment issues than you will at Altamont because Altamont was a higher quality neighborhood. However, your repairs and your capital expenditures, I think they, well, your repairs will probably be higher here just because you're doing more turnovers, but your capital expenditures, like your roof, furnaces and stuff, all your main mechanical systems are newer at this property. This property itself is newer. Uh, so over the long haul, uh, your capital expenditure should be lower, um, but just ballparking everything. $79 a month for each of those, so pencil in $948 a year for all those. Taxes, again, they're high. $44.63 or $371.91 a month. Insurance, same thing. We'll take care of you on the insurance front. Any investors out there watching this, we can insure everybody all throughout Ohio and currently right now. We are working on getting our insurance set up in every single state in the Midwest. So when you guys are purchasing turnkey rentals, whether they're here in Cleveland or they're through, you know, our vendors, Birmingham, Alabama, our Spartan Invest guys down there, you're going to Toledo, Ohio with Ohio Cash Flow. Uh, we're going to be introducing you guys to our vendor in the Indianapolis market soon. Um, we also have another vendor who is in the Memphis market that we're going to be introducing to you. Uh, we're going to be working on being able to insure your rental properties in all those markets and many more all throughout the Midwest. But for now, Ohio properties, you know, stuff you're buying here from HomeWise, stuff you're buying from Ohio Cash Flow. Uh, take a look in the show notes. Contact Kevin, my associate Kevin. He will take care of you. We can insure your rentals. Just like with the sales here, just like I would never drive you and your wife around to look at homes that you're going to live in that ain't my game. I only do rental real estate. I do the investment side. That's Kevin's thing too. He only deals with landlords. We don't really do much business with folks living in their homes. So he knows what you're trying to accomplish as a landlord. He knows that, you know, your bottom line is what you need to focus on. So anybody out there who's watching this besides Arnold, because again, I, Arnold saw this video probably 60 days ago. Uh, but if everybody else out there is watching this, this these deals are both gone. Um, but I do release these publicly later. So you guys all get the opportunity to learn um, from these videos contact my man Kevin see if we can't lower your your insurance on your portfolio um, back into more numbers think you're gonna spend about 150 a month on water lawn care again averages it out for you 44 uh, bucks a month we don't cut all 12 months we cut about 16 times a year so that averages out to 44 because it's a total cost of 528 and then of course you're gonna have to pay us for your PM 15750 or a total 1890 a year so we're bringing in $18,900 a year out of this, and our expenses are going to come in $12,484.92 on average. So we're looking to spend roughly $12,500, which is going to put in your pocket, Arnold, that's going to put $534.59 a month in your pocket, or $64,1508 a year in your pocket. Going further into the analytics, though, like, is that going to meet your criteria? Because remember, your criteria, three to 500 a month or a net annual cash on cash return of 9% or better. Does this one stand up like the Altamont property? Answer is going to be no. Okay. 
quickly. Cap rate, 4.9, okay? If you get a loan, because again, you got to get a loan on these properties. That's why you're buying these properties. You're looking at a mortgage down payment of $32,475. So you're going to have a $97,425 mortgage, which your tenants are going to pay uh, that mortgage for you. But your mortgage payment, right, it's $493.64 a month. However, our NOI is a lot lower at this property than it was at Ultima. Our NOI here is only $534.59. So after you pay your mortgage of $493 every month, you're only walking away on average just under $41 a month on average. Some will be higher, some will be lower. But that does not meet your criteria because that gives you a cash on cash of only 1.5%. You said you're getting 3% over there in Utah. So, you know, I'd rather invest in a 3% property in Utah than a 1.5% return property here in Cleveland. Uh, three to 500 a month in cash flow. Just, you know, you're nowhere near here. Four, 41 bucks a month. The reason that your cash flow is going to be so much lower at this property than the Altima property is the rents. You're getting a lot less in rent. Taxes are similar and the price point is similar. And looking at that price point, just so you know, another uh, exterior factor here is that price point is actually too high, okay? This is a nice property. At $129.9, it is 100% James Wise denied, though, because it doesn't meet your criteria, three to 500 a month, cash on cash, 9% or better. Now, if you guys come to me with these videos and your criteria is just, like, stupid, like, your criteria is just is not like realistic in the Cleveland market. I won't deny a deal that doesn't meet your criteria just because it doesn't meet your criteria because your criteria is wrong. And that's why you're coming to me, right? You guys are living in other states. You come here so I could set you up with an accurate expectation of this market. However, Arnold, your criteria uh, was not wrong. Like your criteria is doable. As a matter of fact, we did it on Altamont. That's why that's James Wise approved. Uh, so this one has to be James Wise denied because it doesn't meet it. A 1.5% cash on cash with a cash flow of only 41 bucks a month, that's not going to cut the mustard for you, bro. Um, and then more important than that, it's just an overpriced duplex. Yes, it's a nice duplex. It's probably the nicest freaking duplex in Garfield Heights, honestly. But pulling the comps last six months here, 56000 64000 72000 78000 right? So you're paying a huge amount of money if you pay what these people are asking. If you pay what the REMAX agent's asking, $129.9, A, you're not making any money, and B, when you go to resell it, you got the most expensive duplex in the entire market, dude, in the entire freaking city. That's going to be tough because it's going to be really tough to resell it to the next guy because the same hurdles you're facing, they're going to face. Now, I don't mind the neighborhood, right? I like Garfield. Garfield's great, a little bit higher than Cleveland, but again, those taxes, they are kind of a negative. Uh, so the property itself is good. There's really nothing wrong with the neighborhood. It's a good neighborhood. We have a lot of rentals in Garfield, so I'm not like anti Garfield, but you got to get it at the right price And 129 is the wrong price, dude. Um, you know, you really shouldn't pay more than 90,000, uh, for a Garfield duplex. Maybe I would say this one, you could pay up to a hundred thousand just because it is brick and it, it's built in the 50s as opposed to all the other ones that are built in like the 20s. But I, that's it, man. I would max out what you spend on a Garfield duplex at 100 grand. Uh, 90 would be better. Like I have um, coming out, like probably in the next week or two, we are just waiting on the, the point of sale back from the city um, to finish up the video. But we're going to be selling a point of sale clear duplex in Garfield. Uh, and that one is listed at 89,900. So. This property, even though it's nice, it is not $40,000 nicer than that other property. And it is not like this much nicer than like Cleveland properties. Like you can go in like 44111, 44109, the southern half. You could pick duplexes up for 100 grand or less uh, that are going to have similar rents. And, uh, you know, this is just not thirty dollars to $40,000 nicer. So because of all that, I got a James Wise denied <clears throat> on this one, but we are James Wise approved on Altamont. And th that is pretty much everything I've got for you, Arnold. Um, you know, thank you for purchasing the analysis, brother. I think I pretty much hit everything on the head from what you were looking at. Uh, going through your emails to me here, one other thing you had asked me, just a general question. 
Uh, what do I think of the Akron uh, real estate market? I don't have too many strong opinions on Akron. Um, as far as like what we sell here and what we do, I would say probably like 98% of the work that we do at Holton Wise uh, is in Cuyahoga County. Akron is in Summit County. So we have like a very, very, very small footprint uh, in Akron. So uh, I would not be uh, the best person to give you Akron advice. Like you're paying me for this advice uh, and I, you're, it's worth every penny in the Cleveland market. You know, I help people a lot in the Cleveland market, but I am by no means an expert in the Akron market or like my other markets that I'm presenting to you guys, like Birmingham, Alabama, Toledo, Ohio, and then the other ones coming up. Uh, you know, when I present those markets to you again, when it's Birmingham, you know, I want to connect you with the people that are the experts. So I'm connecting you with Spartan Invest or uh, Toledo, for instance. I'm connecting you with Ohio Cashville because I'm not an expert in Toledo or Birmingham or any of those other markets that I'm going to be bringing out to you. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Every new market I bring out to you guys is going to have a vendor who is an expert. Uh, I do not have uh, any other vendors I'm working with in Akron. If we ever do start to do business in Akron, a lot of business. Holton Wise itself will probably expand to that market and we'll probably offer the full top to bottom services like we do here in Cleveland. Uh, but at that, at this point, uh, that's not on the agenda anytime this year. So for right now, uh, I just got to you know, tell you, if you want more information on Akron, do some Google searches on Akron Realtors. See if you can find yourself somebody working at a property management company that knows that market a little better than I do. Or just be patient. I would assume in the next three to five years, we're going to want to expand over there to Akron. Uh, but at this point, again, anything I told you would not come from an area, a position of expertise, and I don't want to give you bad information. That, uh, with that, man, that's everything, Arnold. Again, dude, thank you for purchasing the analysis. Thank you for getting the video tours. Thank you for letting me help you. If you want to buy Altamont, I think you should. You can have um, my team, me, write the offer for you. We can act as your buyer's agent. Uh, or if you want, you can go right to that listing agent. No harm, no foul. Um, if you do go through the listing agent, the listing agent will get a bigger commission. So they're probably more interested in pushing your offer through. So that is not a bad strategy. Uh, Holton Wise will still be able to come in and do your property management after the fact. Uh, the other one, uh, the one in Garfield there, uh, Cradell. I don't think you should buy that. That's James Wise denied. Uh, I think the price is just way too high. Another thing on there, um, quickly before I end the video, I want to show you. This is the POS. They did order it already. Super minor stuff, one through seven. Uh, any way that this deal makes sense, uh, and you have to assume this minor POS, you got to get this thing for like 90K or less, right? If you're paying 90K, uh, eh, well, you could probably go up to 100 because it's a nice, it's a nice duplex. I, I got to give it, it's a very nice duplex. Uh, so you could pay 100 or less, and this, this is such a small POS, you could probably assume it, but if you're paying 100 on the dot, you know, I think you should get them to clear it for you. But to get them to come down that much in price, you know, I think that's an uphill battle. I don't know how much of your time you want to spend trying to, you know, give them what they would, you know, see as a really low ball offer. So for that reason, I'm going to James Wise deny it. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, Arnold. That's everything I got for you, brother. Thanks for watching the channel, man. Everybody else, do yourself a favor and smash the like, subscribe, or share button. If you want to get an analysis just like this, like my dude Arnold did here, all you got to do is go to HoltonWise.com, click on the Property Search tab. You can click the Start Here button. That's going to get you onto my mailing list. Again, I said it a few times. 
number one seller at rentals in Cleveland. Uh, so if you want free analysis and free video tours on everything I'm selling, I send those to you every day at one o'clock. But there's more realtors in the market, man. There's 5,000 other realtors out here. So uh, my properties, every day they go out, we get multiple offers because I have so many investor followers. So a lot of you guys, you're either paying me to search the MLS based on your criteria or like Arnold did, you're searching the MLS yourself, seeing if there's any other good deals. You could have me analyze them like I did here because most people, uh, most other realtors, they're focused on that, uh, cruising around, selling people houses that they're going to move into. So you don't get this analysis. You don't get people analyzing it like it's an investment. Uh, that's what I do for you. So here's all of our products. You could just click add to cart. You could pay for them right there via PayPal. As soon as you pay for it, it shoots me an email. I get all your contact information. I see what you bought. So I'll reach out to you immediately afterwards and I'll talk to you about your goals, uh, get a little bit of information about you. So when I set up this video, I can make it very personalized to you. So that's all of that. And then even at the bottom too, this right here, this is a direct feed from the MLS. So you could go to HoltonWise.com and you could search every property listed for sale in the Cleveland market by all 5,000 or so other realtors that are out there. And uh, if you find yourself a listing that you think might be nice, uh, but the listing agent doesn't really know the rental game, again, go over there, purchase an analysis like my man Arnold did. You know, spending five, six, seven, eight hundred, even a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks is not a lot of money if you could possibly get yourself into a bad deal without that info. Like if Arnold bought Cradell here at a hundred thirty thousand, in my opinion he would have made a thirty dollars to $40,000 mistake. So spending five, six hundred dollars to avoid a $34,000 mistake, uh, I think that is big and uh, that's why I think this service is good and that's why it's so popular. So again guys, that's all I got. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. price i mean this is actually a really nice house a little bit more rough a little more ragged it's gonna keep those values high here's quarter mile comps there's two hundred sixty thousand dollars houses right down the street you'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close holding wise we can handle the property management we'll even be able to help you with the insurance we have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states this deal is 100 percent james wise approved james wise denied Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.